This drug called Spinraza was approved just before Christmas, and it's a really exciting drug. It treats spinal muscular atrophy, which is a rare genetic disease. It is just devastating. There has been nothing to treat this disease until now. This is the leading genetic cause of death for infants, and this drug has really shown in clinical trials to make a difference. Now, then uh, the pricing information about this drug came out. Remember, it's an orphan disease or a rare disease. Often these price tags are very high. Uh, in year one, the pricing, because you take multiple doses up front, will be about $750 thousand dollars for the first year after that about three hundred seventy five thousand dollars a year for maintenance uh, today Jeff Porges over at Lyrinc put out uh, a note on this um, saying quote the Spinraza pricing decision is likely to invite a storm of criticism up to and including presidential tweets now of course ever since Donald Trump made his comments to Time magazine about drug pricing saying he doesn't like what's happened with drug prices and he's going to bring drug prices down people have been holding their breath about who he's going to target so Jeff Porge is coming out saying with this price tag which did come in a little higher than people on the street estimated uh, Biogen could potentially be the focus here now I reached out to Express Scripts of course one of the biggest pharmacy benefits managers which negotiates drug prices and they said while the cost is high it's not unusual for an orphan indication they're excited to see a life-changing innovation like this for a disease that really needs it but they said it's imperative when you have these things that payers tightly manage other pharmacy spending in order to pay for these things but it's really fascinating to see that Jeff Porges even while raising his price target on Biogen because the price was higher and this right. should ultimately bear out better is saying this could raise a red flag. It's sort of a mixed note, though, because he raised the price target in 2017. He was saying that because he expects resistance from payers, that 2017 numbers will actually be lower in terms of That's acceptance. That's right. 2017 probably lower, so maybe a slower launch, but then higher in 2020, resulting in that $2 bump in his price target. However, the bigger question, though, if Jeff is right, and there is political attention focused here, that's a huge risk for any company, whether or not people believe they deserve it. Could I have $50? Uh, no. Could I have 20 No. What are you going to do for it? Here's the point. And you're <laughs> supposed no to give me the amount of money that we're going to give you is the bottom line. So <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder I <laughs> wonder if the way that Trump negotiates will change the way drugs are priced because maybe the strategy becomes, you know what? The president elect or president is going to come down on us. Let's 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 so they price start it. high. You start much higher than even you previously thought you might. Then if you get the call, if you don't get the call, you just charge more. If you get the call, you bring it down. You look like you've cut the price. The president looks like he's gotten a win, and you actually got what you wanted in the first place. That's a really interesting theory. And also, it kind of echoes what we see, or at least what is whispered about what happens with pharmacy benefits managers. Of course, what Milan brought to the fore was this idea that pharmacy benefits managers benefit from higher list prices mm -hmm. and then get a bigger cut of the percentage of the discount. And of course, this is the list price we're talking about here. There will be discounts paid to PBMs. So this idea that list prices are being driven up by the system is something that's happening a lot. Ionis is also benefiting from this. It's a licensing partner with Biogen. Do you yeah, think they Ionis. will also draw the ire of a presidential tweet? It's possible. I mean, Biogen is really the one commercializing the drug and so making the pricing decisions. Um, but Ionis, of course, yeah. is involved and, and do benefit from the, the pricing. And Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.